Welcome to the Corner Post channel, your ultimate source for all things football. Dive into the exhilarating world of the beautiful game with us as we bring you the latest updates, breaking news, in-depth analyses, and exclusive insights into the footballing universe. From electrifying match highlights to expert commentary, transfer rumors to tactical masterstrokes, join us on this thrilling ride through the highs and lows of the footballing landscape. Whether you're a die-hard fan or a casual enthusiast, get ready to score big on all the football news you crave. Right here on the Corner Post channel, only one manager has spent more money than Jose Mourinho in football history. With the sacked Roma boss splashing over one pound six by a lion on transfers across his career, but which coach has forked out the most? Jose Mourinho has spent a hopping one pound six billion on transfer throughout his career. But that doesn't come close to the highest spending manager of all time. The Portuguese tactician has been sacked by Roma despite requesting a new contract, with the club sitting ninth and off to their worst start in Serie A. Mourinho has managed some of the biggest clubs in the world, and therefore some with the loosest purse strings. A PS 100 million outlay on Paul Pogba and a 75 million pounds splurge on Romelu Lukaku at Manchester United are his two preciest purchases, but he has also spent lavish sums with Chelsea, Real Madrid, Inter Milan, and Tottenham. His spending at Roma was more pared back and his all-time career checkbook is second only to one man. Jose Mourinho is the second highest spending manager of all time, having splashed out one pound six billion on players. Pep Guardiola holds the distinction of being the most financially backed manager ever, he has spent 1.76 billion pounds, winning 36 trophies. That man is none other than Pep Guardiola, who has dropped an enormous 1 pound 76 billion on the transfer market while managing Barcelona, Bayern Munich, and Manchester City. That's a couple of world-class signings more than Mourinho. In a shorter managerial career as well, transfer market keeps a running record of how much money is spent by managers over their careers. Beneath Guardiola and Mourinho, Carlo Ancelotti has spent a gargantuan £1.46 billion, taking the reins at the likes of Real Madrid, Chelsea, Bayern Munich, AC Milan, Juventus and PSG. That has delivered him an impressive 25 titles, including four Champions League crowns, though Mourinho has won 27 and Guardiola has bagged 36. In fourth, Massimiliano Allegri has spent £1.22 billion in a career which has stayed in Italy, peaking with Juventus and AC Milan at the top of the domestic tree. Rounding out the top five is Diego Simeone, who has splashed £1.04 billion, most of which has come at Atletico Madrid, though he also managed clubs in Argentina and Italy. Manchester United are looking to keep hold of winger Ahmad Diallo amid low request from championship side Middlesbrough with 21-year-old impressing in Red Devils training. Manchester United are looking to keep hold of Ahmed Diallo despite a loan request from Michael Carrick's Middlesbrough. The winger has impressed in training and would be required as cover for other first-team players such as Marcus Rashford, Alejandro Garnacho, and Anthony. Diallo has spent this season back with the Red Devils following a successful temporary stay with Sunderland last season which saw the Black Cuts finish inside the playoff places. He has been used sparingly by Eric Ten Hag despite the rave reviews around his abilities and criticism of Anthony's performances on the right of attack, where Diallo would normally play. The 21-year-old has also had to deal with an injury which has kept him out for large chunks of the campaign. Returning to action in his side's 2-1 defeat against Nottingham Forest towards the end of the year. Diallo even recently took to social media recently to let fans know he wouldn't be moving back to England's second division. Meanwhile, United are concentrating on offers for Facundo Pellistri. Granada hoped to sign the Uruguayan on loan, but the deal has still to be given clearance. The 22-year-old Uruguayan joined the Premier League side in October 2020 for £9 million, but has struggled to crack the first team at Old Trafford. In a bid to get more minutes under his belt, Pellistri, who featured for United against Wigan Athletic this month, completed two low moves to Spanish club Alaves. Now it is felt that the winger might be the next star to leave Man United in the January transfer window, with manager Eric Ten Hag willing to let Pellistri go. 
Elsewhere, Benfica have agreed an £8.6 million option to buy in the loan deal for United left-back Alvaro Fernandez. There is also a sell-on and a buyback clause. Jordan Henderson reaches agreement with Al Etifak to terminate contract and quit Saudi Pro League. Al Etifak have agreed to terminate Jordan Henderson's contract after only six months. Midfielder will leave their training camp in Abu Dhabi and return to England as he searches for a new club. Ajax remain in talks over a permanent deal to sign the midfielder. Jordan Henderson can leave Saudi Arabia after Al Etifak agreed to terminate his contract. They also agreed to let him leave their training camp in Abu Dhabi and return to England as he searches for a new club. It has been no secret that Henderson struggled to settle into life in the Middle East. Paul Merson and Michael Dawson both agree money should take a backward step as Jordan Henderson looks for a move away from Saudi Arabia ahead of the Euros. Ajax coach John Van at Ship has already confirmed that the Amsterdam club would be keen to welcome the England international in an attempt to revive their dwindling season. They are 23 points shy of lead leaders PSV and believe Henderson could help them push for European qualification during the remainder of the campaign. Henderson has played 19 times for Al Edifak, who are coached by former Liverpool teammate Steven Gerrard. Jose Mourinho sacked by AS Roma after two and a half years in charge with Daniel De Rossi named as replacement. AS Roma have parted ways with head coach Jose Mourinho following a poor run of form. The Giallorossi have won just one of their last six Serie A games and sit ninth in the league. Former Roma captain Daniel De Rossi has been named as Mourinho's successor. Jose Mourinho has been sacked after two and a half years in charge at Roma, with Daniel De Rossi named as his replacement. The Giallorossi have won one of their last six Serie A games and were recently knocked out of the Coppa d'Italia by city rivals Lazio, where Mourinho was sent off. They are ninth in Serie A, 22 points behind lead leaders Inter Milan. Mourinho joined Roma in 2021 and spent two and a half years in the role, leading them to the Europa Conference League title in 2022. The 60-year-old also guided them to the Europa League final last season, where they were defeated by Sevilla on penalties. His contract was due to expire in June. Former Roma captain De Rossi was announced as Mourinho's successor on Tuesday afternoon. Sky in Italy understands De Rossi will take charge until June, with the club having an option to renew his contract based on achievements and results. A Roma statement. We would like to thank Gozi on behalf of all of us at AS Roma for his passion and efforts since his arrival at the club. We will always have great memories of his tenure at Roma, but we believe that an immediate change is in the best interests of the club. We wish Gozi and his assistants all the best in their future endeavors. On Tuesday morning, Roma owners Dan and Ryan Friedkin summoned Mourinho to the Trigoria training ground in person. Sky Italy understands this was not a sudden decision. The owners told Mourinho of their decision, which was thought out, considering the way the whole season, and particularly the last month, has been going. The club's ownership believe this is the right time to change direction. Roma's training session was cancelled as a result. They host 18th-placed Verona on Saturday.